Welcome to Mathematical Colors and Codes, a six-week series about using math to make colorful patterns and coded messages. My name is Sandy Eklund, and I'm a librarian at City of Fairfax Regional Library, and I'm also a mathematician. A mathematician is a made-up word for someone who likes to use math in their knitting. Now, you don't need to knit to enjoy this series, but I'm going to use some of the knitting that I've done to show the colors you can use to show math. You could use paint, you can use markers, you can use colored pencils, you can use crayons, um, you can use anything. Um, but the idea is that you can use colors to understand math better and to see the and to make pretty patterns, and eventually we're gonna make coded messages. Now today, we're gonna to talk about prime factorization. So I'm wearing the, sweat, the sweater that started it all for me, my prime factorization sweater. And what we've got on the sweater is uh, 10 rows of 10 squares, and these are, these are 100 numbers. They don't look like numbers, they just look like blocks of colors. Then um, on the back of the sweater, I've got rows of eight. On the sleeves, I've got rows of three and rows of two. But today we're going to just look at the front where we've got ten rows of ten squares. Okay, let's take a closer look at my prime factorization sweater and at the colorful patterns that are in it. Now, I like to explain this sweater starting here. This is this what looks like an empty square. You can think of as the as a white square on a white background, and that's the number one. So one is the background color, and I chose that because one is a factor of every number. Um, when I say a factor, I mean you can multiply this number to get. Uh, the bigger number. So like uh, 1 times anything is the number itself. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 100 is 100 and so on. So, so 1 goes into anything. Okay, but then I start here. So this is 1. This blue square represents 2. So 2 is going to be the color blue. Then I get to red, and red is a red, uh, sorry, three. Three is a red square. Okay, and then I get to four. Now four has two blue squares. Well, that's because four equals two times two. So um, if I can factor the, the number into smaller numbers, then I give, I put those factors in the square. So four is two squares of blue. Five gets a new color, yellow. Then six, well six is two times three, so blue and red. Seven gets a new color. Now look, eight's got three blue squares, and the reason for that is, well, eight is four times two, but four is two times two. So altogether, if you take two times two times two, you're gonna get eight. Okay, 9 is 3 times 3, so 2 red sections. 10 is 2 times yellow, so, so we've got blue, uh, sorry, 2 times 5, so we've got blue and yellow. Then we get to 11. 11 gets a new color of its own. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3, because it's 4 times 3, so 2 times 2 times 3. 13 gets a new color. 14 is 2 times 7. 15 is 3 times 5. 16 is 4 times 4, so it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 17 gets a new color. 18, well, there's two ways you can think of it. Um, you can think of it as 3 times 6 or as 2 times 9, but either way, when you break it down, you get 2 times 3 times 3, because think about it. 6 is 2 times 3 times 3, or 2 times 9 is 2 times 3 times 3. So we call that the prime factorization when we get it down to factors that are prime numbers themselves. So when I get it down to the, 
colors I've used here. Then 19 gets a new color. 20 is 4 times 5, so it's 2 times 2 times 5. 21 is 3 times 7, and it goes all the way up to 100, which is 10 times 10, or 2 times 5 times 2 times 5. Now I'm going to show you how you can use the coloring page attached to this presentation to make your own prime factorization chart. You're going to need 25 different colors, so use a big box of crayons or a big box of colored pencils because there are 25 prime numbers between 2 and 100. So you'll want to use a different color for every prime. Now my example here only goes to 50, but the coloring page goes up to 100. Now I'm going to tell you a way you can fill it out that you don't even have to know how to multiply and it's a little bit fun, more fun to do it this way. Um, you can also just go number by number and figure out the prime factorization and color it in. But another way you can do it is just go uh, one number at a time and do all the multiples and then move to the next number. So let's start. You skip one because one is neither a prime nor composite. It's kind of a special case. It's a factor of everything. So let's go to the number two. You want to choose a color for two. And in this example, I just chose red just for the fun of it. So once you've chosen a color, you'll fill that in and you can tell I've given away which numbers are prime because they've got an empty box for the number. There's no factors. I've got every number split into as many sections as it has factors. So you can see that 15 has two factors and 25 has two factors. But two is prime, so we'll choose a color for it and color it in. Next, what we're going to do with this method is we're going to color all the multiples of 2. So I take every multiple of 2 and I give it one red section. And the way you can find the multiples of 2 is just add 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. I give it a red section. 4 plus 2 is 6. So it gets red. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. And it's all the even numbers. So 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. And you would, of course, go to 100. Okay, the next number is 3. I choose a new color for 3, and here I've chosen blue. Next, we're going to color all the multiples of 3, and the way to do that is just add 3 or count 3 in your chart. So 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, then 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, and 48, and they all get one blue section. Okay, the next number is partly colored and partly not. Now, usually when you get to a composite number, it's going to be already filled in. You'll notice 6 is already filled in. But 4 is only partly colored, and the reason for that is 4 is a power of 2. Uh, if, you, if you think of the factors of 4, 4 is 2 times 2. So we call that a power of 2 whenever you multiply a number by itself. So like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is a power of 2. But 4 is just 2 times 2, so it gets one more red section. And then once you've done that, now every multiple of 4 is going to need two red sections also. So again, we're going to add 4. And every time we'll give it one more red section. So those numbers that we filled in were 8. Then 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. Then 20, 24, 28, 
32, 36, 40, 44, 48. They all get two red sections. Okay, our next number is five, and you can see five has an empty box, so that means five is prime. Let's choose a color for five. Okay, and once you've chosen a color for five, then you want to color a section of green for all the multiples of five. And that's easy for five because it's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And they all line up because we've got rows of 10. Okay, then, like I said, six is composite and it's already filled in. And you can check if you did it right you think it through, well, yes, six is two times three. So it's got two and three already colored in. Then seven is the next number and it is prime. So it gets a new color. And I chose a yellowish orangish. And then we will take the color for seven and color all the multiples of seven. So seven plus seven is 14, 14 plus seven is 21. Then we get 28, 35, 42, and 49. Okay, the next number is eight and eight like four is partly colored in. And the reason for that is eight is a power of two because eight is four times two, which is two times two times two. So it needs three sections of red. So we will color that. And then all the multiples of eight need three sections of red. So it's eight plus eight is 16, 16 plus eight is 24. Then we get 32, then we get 40, 40 plus eight is 48, and then we're done. Okay, the next number nine is only partly filled in and that's because nine is a power of three. Nine equals three times three. So I need one more blue section for nine. And now all the multiples of nine need one more blue section. So nine plus nine is 18. 18 plus nine is 27. 27 plus nine is 36. 36 plus nine is 45. Okay, then 10 is already filled in. It's composite and you can check. And yes, it's two times five. Then 11 is a prime number. So we'll choose a new color for 11. So 11 is purple. Then we'll color all the multiples of 11. And that's 11 plus 11 is 22. 22 plus 11 is 33. 33 plus 11 is 44. And you'll notice as the numbers get bigger, it we don't have as many to color in because they're getting big very fast. Okay, then 12 is already filled in and we can check that we did it right. Yes, uh, 12 is four times three, so it's two times two times three, and we've got two reds and one blue, so that's right. Then the next number is 13. 13 is prime, so let's give it a new color. And then to find multiples of 13, we add 13 plus 13 is 26. 26 plus 13 is 39. 39 plus 13 is 52, and that's off our chart. So now we've only got three to fill in. Okay, and that's how it keeps going. We can check 14, did we do it right? Two times seven, yes. 15 is three times five, yes. And then 16, oh, that's a power of two. So that's gonna get one more colored in. And that's how you do the, can do the whole chart up to 100. And then you can see what patterns you notice as you fill it out. And I hope you'll have fun with that. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Mathematical Colors and Codes, which covered prime factorization. We hope you'll tune in to the next episode where we'll take these ideas and show you how you can turn them into colorful coded messages.